Hey guys, I'm back at it again with a super cool product. Right here is the One Leaf NV200. It's night and day vision binocular. I'm gonna take it apart, do an unboxing, show you all the cool different features. But you guys may have seen one of their products in one of my previous videos. I went on a night hunt and we went hog hunting and I used one of their monocular that was attached to a scope. I'll leave the link for that video down below. If you haven't seen that, you can go check it out. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, I got my little helper right here. So he's gonna help me with the video, make sure I'm on track. But this is really cool. So I'm gonna open it up and show you everything it has. And there's a lot of different features on here. So I already took it apart. So it looks a little scrambled as I'm taking it out, but it comes with this nice little dust bag. Put it in right there. It comes with your charger right here. And I'll show you how you charge that in a little bit. And here is the product right here. This is the binoculars. I like how it has this strap so you can wear it however you want carry it around. It's got these little handles right here so you can grip it nice and easy. So this is day vision and night vision. So there's different ways that you can control it and press the buttons and I'm going to show you. We have all of the controls right here and I'm going to get into that and show you what each control does and how it works and all that stuff. But right here in the front you have this little cap and depending on which mode you choose, day mode, night mode, you would take this off or put it back on. So this one will easily unscrew right here and then you can pop it back on. And that will change for your day mode and your night mode. All right, so that is the product right there. And then you also have your little user manual right here. So if you get confused and need that, you can use that. Comes with a little dust rag to wipe off all the dust and all that stuff. Another little wet wipe right there. It comes with a couple screws and a little Allen wrench in case you've got to screw some stuff back in and fix some stuff on it. Another little Allen wrench right here. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? And then it comes with a little mount right here. And then you also have, this is really cool. I like this. You have a range finder right here. And I'll show you how you attach that to your binoculars. You can put that on there. So when you're out hunting, you attach this and then you can know the distance and all that stuff. So I like the little range finder right there. So yeah, this is everything that it'll come with. Before we get into all the features, the really cool thing is right here on this side, you pop this out right here. This is where you're going to charge your binoculars. You would just take this, take a regular USB outlet, plug it in, plug this in right here, plug it in right there, plug it into the wall and charge it. So you can charge it overnight, the night before you're going hunting or whatever you wanna do. And then you have a little outlet right there for headphones. You have a little SD card that you can take out and put right there. That's for like all your recording and pictures and all the stuff that you want to save and put on a computer or whatever you want to do. So yeah, you got all those features right there. All right, so to get started with your NV200, to turn it on, obviously you press the on button right there. Hold it on for a few seconds. And once it comes on, you'll see like the little emblem on the inside pop up. Currently I have a setting where there is a magnified zoom in the very center of the viewfinder. You can see the zoomed in image in the square at the top. Here is a peek at the menu settings. Now let's take a look around and see what I can see. As you can see, my hands were a little shaky with the 50 millimeter lens. This would all be smoothed out if I had brought a tripod. I was informed that these were oriental bulls when I was mistakenly referred to them as longhorns. Check out these cute guys.
I can't get over how cool these bulls are. Welcome to Texas. Now I'm gonna go over a little bit of the features. So this thing is cool right here. It's got all these different knobs right here. So I turned it on right here. There's lots of different features on here. Let's just start with the IR. The IR right here. So as I'm pressing this one, this one will go from day mode to night mode. You have to hold it and press it down for a couple seconds and it'll switch to night mode. This is night mode right here. And when you're on night mode, just so you guys know, you wanna keep this lens cap on right here. And then I will hold it down like this for a couple seconds. So when you hold it down for a couple seconds, it'll switch back to day mode. So once I'm on day mode, you wanna take this off right here. I'm gonna leave that on, but when you switch to day mode, unscrew that and it'll tell you to do that. So the IR right here, this is how you go from day mode to night mode. Down here, if we're moving down, the PIP, this is your laser. So a little red laser will shoot out. Let me show you guys right here. You see that little laser right there? So a little laser will come out, and as I'm looking in my binoculars, I can see the laser right there too. So that's pretty cool. And then if you press it again, you just turn it off like that. The next thing down here is the menu. You press that, and that's how you can go to all of your settings. And that's how you can go in there and auto record, adjust the brightness to your lenses, movie time clip. There's lots of different things on here. Let's see. And then you can even scroll down. You can even do the exposure and the brightness, the contrast, the saturation. You can adjust how you're recording. It records in 4K, but you can adjust it and record in uh, different formats. Date format, sound record, clock settings, format, SD card, all kinds of stuff is right here. So you would just click menu. And then to get out of that, you would just click menu again and it would take you back to your regular screen. And then if we move over to the left side, we have these controls right here. This is how you zoom in and zoom out. And these are also the controls you use when you go to the menu settings to go up and down to choose all your different options. And then your last button right here, the OK, this is how you're going to record. So if you're out there looking at what you want to look at, you would just hit record and then you can record. Very simple. And that's also how you would take your pictures. And just so you guys know, when you're zooming out and zooming in, sometimes you lose focus and you wanna take these dials right here and twist them and then until it gets to the right focus, uh, just so you know. So as I was zooming in and out, I noticed, oh, I need to adjust this a little bit. So as you guys know, in my last video, I had a monocular and this is a binocular. So I was really jealous on my last hunt because the guide, he had one of these and he was able to bring it up to his eye and scan the whole area and find hogs and different animals. And all I had was my binocular and my scope. So this definitely will help out so you can scan, find the hogs and then get them. All right, so it also comes with a range finder and I attached that right here with a screw and an Allen wrench. I like that a lot, especially for when I go hunting in the future. I like to know how far something is from me. So I like that feature right there. And just so you guys know, in your little um, user manual, it has all the instructions right here on how to set it up and how to um, get your rangefinder ready. All right, so now let's go see if we can get some night footage. If you look at the sparkle in the center of the screen, that is the rangefinder finding distances. You can vaguely see the distance in light blue at the top of this recording. However, in the viewfinder, it is very prominent. This area here was a bunch of tiny homes, all in total darkness. I definitely looked a little creepy casing out these houses in the middle of the night. I had fun bouncing the rangefinder off the horse and then the house and then a telephone pole directly in front of me. All of this was at a far distance and I wish I could tell you, but the setup was in meters. You do have the option of changing it to yards. Everything was pitch black with the exception of a little bit of light on the side of the house.
Overall, the rangefinder worked great, and the video is pretty clear for the distances that I'm filming. All right, so thank you so much to One Leaf for the NV200. I really like this binocular. Um, it's gonna come very useful to me when I go hunting in the future and all kinds of stuff. And it's just fun to go around and just look around and see everything around you. So yeah, go check out the NV200. Thanks for watching, guys. I have additional links down below for the NV200 and other videos that get into this product a lot deeper. Hit the subscribe button and see you next Gunday Monday.